again to the ACE channel, where we look at some of the ACE products that are on sale from us. Remember, we sell anything from a connector to a radio mast, and all brands from Intel to Zotec. Let's have a look at what we'll be doing today. Okay, so today we will be having a look at a recently launched product. It is the new HP705. In this case, it's a VHF. They are also available. Um, no, it is actually a UHF. It is a HP705 UV. It is UHF, as I can see on the spec here. Um, I'm just going to change the zoom on this so we can see nicely what's going on it does 350 to 470 the antenna supplied is a 400 to 470 I don't understand the UV so yeah we will probably find out later why there's a U and a V um, but this is one of the entry-level devices recently launched I am excited to see what it looks like okay well let's go back to the other zoom and then see what we have in the box like always we have a booklet um, please note that these are demo radios that's why they have some stickers on um, similar to the other one we also reviewed the hp 605 i don't know what the advantage or disadvantage is i can see that this is a panic button which the other one didn't have um, obviously the transformer charge apart and the antenna with the belt clip and that little strappy thing which I do not like so let's just get rid of these things look at the items individually the belt clip which we will come back to in a moment when we get the battery that we forgot um, I think it's at the bottom there you go the battery is at the bottom um, Okay, in this case it's a VP2403 at 2400, that is a higher capacity battery, 7.7 volt, lithium ion battery pack. Okay, now as mentioned before, I do like the latch being on the battery. If something goes wrong with the latch design, it is not your radio that's faulty, it is just the battery. Similarly, with the battery um, belt clip itself, I do not like this design guys I will make no bones about it I do not like that it's probably neat and it works um, well I do not have a problem with it what I do have a problem with is I know the user that we have in our country the end user the guy that is actually sitting with the radio could be playing with this device the whole day and doing this back and forth back and forth thing um, damaging that um, slide part there also another problem is that often will break out here yeah, which means you will have to replace the battery and it could be a costly exercise so it means your battery is perfectly well nothing wrong with the battery but you will find that the latch is damaged or it's broken out there you will need to replace that I don't like that about these radios okay having a look at this radio it seems slightly taller then the other one that we had, I can feel it's slightly taller. If you look at the inside, um, specifications are just there. Um, on the side we have the common Nitera um, accessory uh, adapter. Uh, what we have on the side is the on button for probably just the um, display. Programmable buttons I believe and the plastic PDT. Those are rubber, that is plastic. Okay, so there's a rotary knob, it pushes, it has a panic um, and a tricolor LED with a SMA antenna. The antenna that was supplied to us is a little short antenna. Um, I will also review this, but I believe it'll do the same performance as the one that we've done previously. Not excellent characteristics. It does 400 to 470 and yeah i as i believe from the last test i did these are not such good antennas okay let's fit the battery what i have found with these is you can't just press it down you have to actually do the release thing and yeah there you go 
the radio has been powering up. And let's just go to, to that one there. You'll see the screen is slightly flickering. Um, that is not a problem on the radio. That is actually the refresh rate of the camera being similar to that of the display. Um, it has a nice readable screen, especially in the day. I don't know if you can invert these or not. Um, once again, what I find staggering is the fact that Itera had changed their design from a middle mounted antenna to a side. When they came out with the design, everybody was questioning it and Itera's answer was basically um, the propagation was better in the middle than on the side. Now they've reverted to the side, so I wonder how much truth was in that um, comment that was made. Nevertheless, it is a nice little radio. This one is slightly taller. It sits nice on your desk. It doesn't fall over. Um, it is important that a portable device be able to, to mount like that without falling over. Um, it fits snugly in the hand without the belt clip. Um, you have either volume control or if you push it down, it is three, four, two, one. The channels that you will be able to, to change on it. The display stays on a few seconds. I'm sure that is changeable, um, adjustable. And there you go. If we look at the charger once again, um, let's have a look at the charger. This is the charger with the orange writing on there, which is the entry level series, it seems. Um, it is a CH1027 um, and let's see if we can get that into focus. CH10L27. Focus is terrible on these. Um, let's try that. Oh, there you go. CH10L27. It'll charge the battery full in probably two and a half to three hours. And it says, yep, there is what it does. If you look at the, when it's full, the LED is green. Okay. Guys, now, one of the things that I do like about the Itera chargers is you have a DC 12 volt input um, with a standard type socket, no funny, sockets like um, some of the other manufacturers use I can make a cable up to work in my vehicle or on a solar site I like this um, I really like that okay let's have a look at the transformer the transformer part has a two pin prong on it which I really don't like everybody that knows me and watch the videos knows that this is something I do not like. Okay, with the writing now on top of the transformer, um, not on the back, this is a thousand millimeter hour transformer. Right, let's plug it in and have a look and see what happens. It is plugged in and my test as I always show on all my videos is what will it do when you plug it in and it's sitting idle. There you go, that's what I want to see. These oaks have thought about everything. It sits there idle and immediately me just looking at this, I know three things. I know that there's power into the transformer, the transformer is working, the four things, the cable is actually working, it is plugged in and the charger is most probably working. So by just changing how the light works, I eliminate a bunch of problems, um, especially on sites um, where there's a DC site a solar site or maybe using this charger in a car i've eliminated a bunch of stuff here thank you okay next thing that we will try is let's see the radio fits snugly not even trying hard it fits um, it goes solid red when it goes full it goes solid green and even if it's shaking it still stays charged um, there, even if it's lying on the side, maybe in a car or something, it had fallen over, it is still snugly in the charger, it works well. I like the design of the charger, I like the design, the thought that went into this. Okay, our last test will be the antenna. I'm just going to pause the video here and then I'll recap now. 
Okay, so for our antenna test, um, like we've done with the others, we will be having a look at this antenna, which is specced at 400 to 470 meg. Okay, and to do this test, we have two items. The one is our antenna analyzer, which you can find as one of our reviews very handy little tool and our adapter kit now because this is a sma male that's on there we will need a sma female termination which is one of these and we will want to adapt that to a b and c which is on our instrument so there you go quite simply and easy we can fit our antenna fit our antenna make sure that it's tight we have decent readings um, okay just to show that the antenna is on I'm going to change the focus on you and let us see we will do a scan and maybe go to 450 which will be inside the um, center somewhere and let's start to scan I have found that the short antennas the SW on these are very high as also seems to be the problem with this antenna it is fairly flat throughout the range which is good but I have found that the the SWR is very high as you can see 6.32 in the middle if we go to the bottom part we will find that there is um, a SWR 4.38 um, and on the top part of the of the band we will see if, if we run using this device on about 4 470 I'm not even going to go there as it's going to go um, even worse we see that the antenna the SWR is going close to to 9 so I doubt that this is the best antenna for for this radio it is a good trade-off but I don't believe that these antennas are as good as the longer ones that we have seen. Um, so that concludes our review on these devices today. Um, I like the new shape, um, the fact that it's got Bluetooth built into it. We can program the device Bluetooth um, from a laptop. I believe that Hytera will be working on an app for our phone, which is very practical and very ne necessarily that we would use something like that as you could get to site and forget your programming cables um, or it may be faulty guys that is our review on the hp 705 uv i don't quite know what the v stands for but it is a very nice radio i like it please make sure you like share and subscribe to our videos Thank you for watching another great review from ASCOMS. Please like, subscribe and share our videos. Also feel free to send a comment, request for a review or just a shout out. Stay safe till next time.